What is up, watch fam? I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and today is International Turbulion Day. <laughs> it's the 218th anniversary of Abraham Louis Breguet's uh, submission to the official patent offices for his invention, the Tourbillon. Huge thanks to the watch lovers over at London Jewelers for one, reminding us his holiday even existed, two, sending us in these balloons uh, to celebrate, and three, for giving us some time with today's subject. Of course, a tourbillon today by Panerai. London Jewelers is a Panerai authorized retailer. They have six locations in New York. If you're interested in anything from, geez, Patek Philippe, Rolex, Audemars Piguet, Cartier, or Breguet, shoot them an email. Their watches are remarkable, their service is really incredible, and their info is down below. Today's watch question of the day is, what is your favorite watch complication? And really, being honest, do you ever use it? So we're hands-on with the PAM00578, which is powered by a complication that is a favorite of many, of course very relevant for today, the Troubillon. Maybe the most beautiful and almost certainly one of the most expensive complications, but what the heck is it? Well, with all great inventions, the Troubillon starts with a problem. The rate at which a watch runs, plus or minus a certain amount of seconds per day, is impacted by the position it's in. We know this by timing movements in multiple positions. Dial up, dial down on its sides, etc. Gravity, you're a problem. But if somebody could rotate these mechanical components, the balance wheel and the hairspring, 360 degrees continuously over the course of a minute, hitting all of the positions and balancing the pull of gravity, the errors would be canceled out, keeping the timekeeping smooth. That's it. That's a tourbillon, and it was invented in 1801 by Abraham Breguet. Tourbillon is one of those words where you either say it sounding like an American that refuses to speak French, or like an American trying to speak French. Tourbillon, or that's a tourbillon. Like, you sound like a jerk either way. But here's where this gets interesting. The fame of the complication did not come as a product of its effectiveness. It's a beautiful bragging point a mesmerizing declaration of supremacy. And that's why, much more often than not, they're visible through the dial, so we can stare into them, and if we're not careful, drool. Just look at this Panerai. There's something just miraculous about watching it revolve. Panerai knocked this one out of the park. Skeleton dial, which I love when executed properly. Titanium case, and 30 second full rotations as opposed to a minute, everything. Truly, Panerai did a great job. So, the Tourbillon. While its effectiveness is probably unnoticeable to you and I, particularly you know in today's modern world of, of hyper accurate mechanical timekeeping, but it's a complication that its owner, unlike a GMT or a chronograph, has no choice but to use. It just works. It needs no activation. It just makes the watch more accurate. And I suppose that's rare. So happy International Tourbillon Day, geeks. And thank you again so much to London Jewelers for giving us some time with this truly interesting, not to mention rare Panerai. This horological celebration wouldn't have been so wonderful without you. If you watch geeks are interested in learning more about any one of the many models that London carries, shoot them an email down below. Zach, a watch fanatic at London, is an incredible guy and he will be ecstatic to help. Last but not least, geeks, what is your favorite complication? And again, be honest, do you ever use it? Comment your answers down below. I cannot wait to read and reply. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe to Theo and Harris if you love watches. I will see you all very soon. The rate at which a ro- ah, The rate at which a ro- The- <laughs> The rate at which a ro- <laughs> Mother That's a tourbillon. 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 <laughs>